Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Ellie Greenwood uh, before the 2012 Western States 100. You won last year, you're returning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, as good as you can the day before, you know, a big 100 miler like this. But uh, yeah, just getting excited to go tomorrow now. Yeah, you've had a tremendous year. Your wins at AR, at Chuckanut, second place at Comrades, two marathon PRs. I mean, some of those races weren't even focus races. You've got to be feeling really confident in your fitness. Yes, I am. Um, I mean, obviously, 100 miles is a different thing, but it's always nice to have those like indicators of like Comrades is about 56 miles, American River 50 miler, to sort of have that confidence builder of like, well, oh, I'm fast at that distance. Yeah. And, and faster times than last year, right? So, mm -hmm. no, it's, uh, it's good to have that in the back of your head for sure. Yeah. Um, those are all pretty flat. I mean, there's no, there's rolling hills at Comrades, but, and Chuckanut has some mountains, but. Overall, it's not mountain oriented. Have you had a chance to transition from that sort of flat and fat, or flat and fast mentality and training to? Yeah, definitely. And even um, even a little bit before comrades, like I did uh, the last marathon I did was Vancouver, which was start of May. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of after that, I was like, I know I've got enough leg speed for comrades, so I'll now do more even before comrades away from the road and onto the trails and doing more elevation. Um, and definitely since Comrades, like, yeah, I've been like power hiking hills kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm So you power hike here? Sorry? Do you power hike? Power hike. Well, yeah, you're allowed to in the trail race, right? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, one of the transitions you made this year is you were living, you've been living in Banff for the last couple of years in the mountains. And mountain running comes pretty naturally when you're in the middle of the Canadian Rockies. And now you've moved to Vancouver. How has that transition been? Um, you've lived there before. So. I, I've lived there before and it's kind of odd because um, I think people think oh Banff in the mountains awesome for trail running um, but I felt like a runner in a ski town like yes there are runners there but it was so snowy a lot of the year that like there's amazing trails but the access to get to them was quite limited mm -hmm. to sort of the summer months um, and so then in the winter you were left on the flatter trails um, with actually less variety um, Vancouver I'm now living at about 200 meters above sea level mm -hmm. but I look one way down my street and it's sea level like downhill and look the other way up and it's the North Shore Mountains so actually yeah okay I don't have the advantage of altitude anymore but for year-round trail running and really getting more elevation in mm -hmm. despite a lower altitude it's much better and there's a great running community too which is what I missed out on. So. Certainly. Um, this year, there's a there's a tremendous women's field here. I mean, last year was was great, and pretty much everyone's back except for Tracy and uh, and Becky from the top ten. What's it feel like going into? I mean, there's 400 IAU 100K world champions in this race. Oh yeah, I mean it's uh, like you look down the list and you sort of think like, oh so and so or so and so is my competition. And then you go, oh no, well, what about that person or that? And there's some, <laughs> there's quite a list there. Um, so it, it's exciting to be honest. Like. Mm -hmm. um, it, we're seeing it more in women's uh, ultra running and it's good to see that it makes the women's race just as exciting. I think it'll push everyone harder, all the women harder, to uh, you know run better, faster, stronger races. Mm -hmm. And uh, But ultimately, I'm like, you can only run your own race and I want to run the best race I can and I hope that you know brings me into a good position. But, you know, yes. you just have to see when there's, when there's the competition there is. So you're going to do your own your own thing early you have to in the 100 mile race and yeah i mean it's uh you can't run somebody else's race because they've done their training you've done your training and uh yeah like the real i think you know it's uh it's getting to forest hill and then you know if you're in a good position in good shape then that's when i'm really more thinking about oh, okay you know the competition and that kind of stuff so. yeah with such a deep women's field I and mean, there's just so many people who could win it and a lot of them really suited with speed from the 100k background yeah. and a just wonderfully cool year is it going to take somebody going out aggressively and just hanging on to do it or can somebody actually i mean there's gonna be less attrition i think how, how does that play into your you know, yeah into yeah i mean you don't want to get like too far back of the lead for sure because it, yeah you i don't think you can count on maybe one or two people go out too fast and then drop off but with the number of good women there'll be some people that go out fast and stay fast mm -hmm. right so uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just see. I'm not normally the most aggressive of starters. I think I'm getting a little more uh, 
confident at doing that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see what happens. Are you looking forward to the pleasant conditions? As a <laughs> I, I mean, it's unreal, right? Like the how little snow and how mild it is, um, which is good, really. I mean, I know like the heat is part of the Western States event for sure, um, but then some people deal with it better, and you sort of think like you know now is that more about well you dealt well with the heat as much as being a good runner you know mm -hmm. it's a combination of both so no um i'm from canada I'll do the yeah. better. <laughs> <laughs> so i won't ask you to pick who would who do you think is going to win the women's race but who do you think is going to win the men's race this year oh my goodness it's <laughs> uh yeah um hard to say but i would put my money on someone like ryan sands um maybe the fact that now it's not so hot i think if it had been a hot year it really like that would from what i know i've never seen him race right yeah. but play to his advantages um but yeah i would say someone like that but uh mike wolf's got to be you know pretty keen it was it was cool to see him you know gaining on killian last year mm -hmm. um so i guess maybe i'd like mike to win. yeah well uh, good luck in pursuing the win yourself and uh i mean it's going to be a beautiful day out there with lots of competition We've talked about it a little bit before, but that end tracing time is out there. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Well, <laughs> well, we'll good luck see. with the win. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I know you know what the splits are. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yes. Good best of luck, Alex. Okay, thanks so much. With the 2011 Western States 100 champ before the 2002 race. How are you doing, Ellie? Very good, thank you. Yeah, it's 2012 this year. What, what did they say? 2002, Brian. Time warp.